Chat, here we go. It's the beginning of the madness in the East. It's Nas versus Rai, the number one seed, according to Chats, versus the number 16 seed. Now, will it go the way of a mercy rule? You might be asking, what is a mercy rule? Wait, why are there 20 minutes on the clock? I don't understand. Let me take it from the beginning. This is a 32-player tournament. We are currently watching the east side of the bracket, which includes Europe and Mina. And we are playing best of ones. Best of ones, but the twist being it's a 20-minute long game. A 20-minute long game in which players can slow down the game if they would like with a single timeout after any goal replay. But other than that, we power our way through. The winner at the end of the game advances in this single elimination bracket. But... Well, why, why was I saying buts? I don't know. It could go to overtime. No, no, but the mercy rule. That's what I want to say. But the mercy rule indicates that if anybody goes up 15 goals before we reach the final moments, the game will end early. So it may not be a 20-minute match if someone can extend it. Certainly, people would probably be guessing that it would be Nass, who chat seeded as the number one seed. If you didn't know, I did let chat take all of the contestants and seed them themselves. So it is you guys who picked this as the strongest and, you know, well, very still strong, the weakest player over in EU. Will he be strong enough to put up a fight against Nass? It's gonna, gonna score 200 goals at this pace. We have seen a lot of goals. I think the most goals we've seen scored uh, collectively is in the 50s range, the mid 50s. So like a 25 to 25 ish type round as Nass trying to fake you on the goal line. It is a long haul. These 1v1s. And it's been interesting to see the way that players play it. The West has already been played out as Nass gets a nice double off the back wall. The West winner was somebody who I think came in as the favorite. Actually, you guys had him as the number one seed. But he also played it the most unique, I would say. Whether it was just because he was confident in every round or he knew that he was playing the long haul and just decided to, you know, play slow and not try and rush and burn out. He was able to get every single win. Nass actually just shot this directly at Rai, which is why I wanted to watch it again. And even on Rai's screen, it looked like he saved it. And yet still, he gets credited as a goal. Chat knows ball. The NA seating was almost perfect. Yeah, it was pretty close. Now, I think that the East... Oh, Nass just put that off target. I think that the East is a little bit tougher to predict. And I think that it has a little bit deeper of a roster. So I'm expecting more upsets. I don't know if you guys agree. One in chat if you think the East will have more upsets than the West. I think the West, you know, hierarchy is known. It's It's been very consistent almost for a long time. Whereas the East has so many deep players. Nass. Air dribble reset. Musty. Rise going to drop on the nice one. Looks like chat mostly thinks that the East will be tougher to predict. Nass wall to air dribble. It's six to one. The early moments of this game did not seem like Nass was going to break away and get to 15. But since the 1-1 scoreline, it's been five straight for Nass. As he takes a dribble off the back wall, has a reset near ceiling height, and his flick goes directly at Rai, and again, it's scored. And to be honest, it looks like Rai is in the perfect position to make these saves. Nass is not getting a final touch that, that puts the ball out of Rai's control, and yet still, it keeps falling its way in. Rai's car is pretty interesting. I know chat was immediately talking about the decal. Nass, will he be able to counter here? He will, 8-1. So Nass creeping his way towards that mercy rule. Rai undercutting Nass right now. Can he use it as an opportunity to score? Hasn't scored since the first 30 seconds or so. Since then, it's been all Nass. He has been tough to deal with in the air. The air roll here to control this dribble is insane. He doesn't get the double, though. Got slightly bumped. Now he'll get demoed. This should be a goal for Rai. It's an easy walk-in. 
And he's on the board again. Right, another kickoff win. Just gonna boom the ball directly on target. Nass able to get the save. Can't use the wall dashes to get the 100 boost though. He is gonna stay aggressive and probably leave the net open. It was a bit surprising that he drove all the way upfield at such a big boost deficit and then tried to make a play off the side wall. Jumping off the side wall at height with zero boost is just guaranteeing you will not be recovering quickly. Nass pre-flip here on zero boost to get the ball out of Rise pocket. Push it to the back wall. He's got himself a wall to air dribble. Nass from the ceiling, going to the ground. Nice coverage by Rai. Very impressive. And now, is he gonna be able to clear this ball out? What, you know, he's using grass boost. He's using black. Is that black painted grass boost, chat? Is that the sweatiest possible boost you could use? <laughs> it's gotta be, right? Nass, what a 50. He doesn't care how sweaty the preset of Rai is. Maybe it is just grass boost. I can't tell if it's like painted black or not. I don't know if grass has any painted variants. Yes. Pre flipping into the dribble. The musty. He has been super effective off the sidewall today. Even when Rai has been in the way of these shots, he hasn't been able to make the save. This time, Ness just dropping it right over the top. It does have variants. There's always at least one item pro in the chat, who knows. Ness. Now flick towards the post. Does not connect. Rai. On one of his rare attacks so far in this match as we approach the end of what would be game number one. Nass, can he get the touch? No, he came off the back wall in an attempt to redirect the post bounce into the net, but couldn't get it. Now Rai, seems like he was maybe thinking about air dribble bump, but recognized he was not gonna be able to get around the ball, so instead went for the 50. And now Nass gonna try and power slide cut Rai, and he does. Has himself an eight goal lead. So halfway on his way to getting the Mercy Rule. Could he get it before halftime? That's the question. The Mercy Rule serves, serves as not only, you know, a reason to try and keep the game close, but really a reason for somebody who seems to be comfortable in the match to just try and end it early. As Rai, though, again going to score as soon as Nass extends that lead out. Rai finds a way to get a bucket, and this time on the hook shot, after recovering quickly. Nass, what a touch over the top of Rai. Rai jumping behind the ball, hovering there. What a no-look. That's a really early no-look. <laughs> that That's a really early no-look from Nass. We got to watch it again. I mean, he turned it off. Pretty darn early, even adjusted a little bit. Normally you see the no look and they turn off, when they turn off ball cam basically, they stop adjusting the car, but he did adjust slightly. And now, up 12-4, carrying this one off the ceiling, gets the reset. Oh, I, I thought there was no way he was gonna get on target, but after the reset, it became potentially possible. Chat, just so you guys all know, Alpha Cap has decided to bait a Daniel versus Zen show match every single time he goes live. Um, and there are no plans for that. Nass. Little camera check as he steals back corner boost. Undercutting Rai now. I knew as soon as Alpha Cap did that, I was like, I'm I'm gonna suffer the consequences for this. You realize there's gonna be tons of people in my chat asking about Daniel versus Zen. Nass with zero boost. Still able to make the save and almost didn't even need a pad here. He gets it as he wave dashes back to the ball. But he extends it 
to 13-4 without much help. Nass on the air dribble ride, thinking about the early challenge. Went back down to the ground. It didn't matter. Nass still able to get over the top. As Rye couldn't get the readjustment. 14-4. Five goals away from the Mercy Rule. I think we've seen the Mercy Rule at least a couple times. I don't know when the earliest Mercy Rule has been attained. Nice fake by Rai. Ash dropping him the nice one as well. He deserves it. Are people asking about Nush? We, we have Nush later. If you go to exclamation point bracket. Oh, what a save. If you go to exclamation point bracket, you can see all the games and when they're going to play. Um, and where they're going to play. All the info is there. <laughs> That's a pretty safe fake there. I didn't even really have to do much. As he rolled it straight down the center of the field. Nass was expecting another touch. And all Rai had to do was just sit there. Nass. What placement on the attempted kickoff continuation. But Rai's been able to make that save. Now he's going to have to defend on zero. Nass actually just tried to speed the ball up to see if he could punish, but wasn't able to. His rival now have to back up again. Nass has himself an air dribble. Will he go for the bump? He goes in front of the ball. It's a pretty weak attempt at a bump. You know, give credit to Rai for still making the save, but it wasn't as effective of an air dribble bump as we're used to seeing, and Nass won't be able to make this save. So Rai keeping it at about this 8-7 score line. Hey, Feet, I watch your videos on YouTube. Hey, <laughs> appreciate you for that. Also, I appreciate you for coming in here and chatting on mobile and having fear autocorrect. Rye is so hard to tell if he's boosting. We can hear it slightly, but I wonder if it affects Nass's read at all. I've heard pros say that it doesn't even matter, that, that, that hiding the boost doesn't hurt them at all. I feel like at some level, it's got to. Whether they realize it or not, there's got to be a little bit of passive knowledge. I know most of the knowledge comes without even seeing the trail at all and how much boost the opponent has. And I'm sure there's got to be some innate awareness that you have when you see a lot of boost trail, knowing the person is probably low. Fifteen seven. Rye gonna stay within this eight to seven goal range. They've been trading goals, so Nass has not been able to extend it past. We have seen a 10 goal comeback already. Nass has actually hasn't even gotten the score line to 10. We have not seen anything past 10, I don't believe. Certainly a 1 versus 16 matchup with the 1 in the lead is not a likely time to see it. But look at this shot from Nass. Such an unconventional way to use his reset. Grabs the reset and backflips that back corner wheel into the ball in order to get some speed. And gets himself an extended lead. Nass wall dashing his way to grab both the midfield boost and the back corner boost, which is going to force Rai off the play. Nass is like freestyling at this point. He's going to need a double or a reset to get this one on target. Doesn't get either. As Rai able to make the save, he will delay his flick. Nass pre-jumped the save and still covered it. Can he get to the corner boost in time? He can't. So Rai will take over here. His boost advantage has dwindled away, though as Nass undercuts him and forces him to use a ton just to get his play started. Rai, go up the side wall, pick up 100, I guess, on the other side of the field. Now, trying to bait Nass into a bad challenge, but Nass, the reverse double jump challenge, not something you see very often, but it works to take the ball away. And now Rai will boom a long shot on target. Nass, 
In and out. Wave dash save, or wave dash recovery to move out towards the ball, but actually does not get the save. 9-6. It's been trading goals. Can Rai get any sort of momentum as we approach halftime? Or will Nass be able to extend it out to the end of the game? A couple fake hook shots here before placing the ball. Bottom right after freezing Rai and Nets. And we return to an eight-goal lead. Nass not going to win this race to the midfield. I'm actually surprised he went so far out to it. That's why I was clearly in the lead. Nass, that is not the save he needs. Setting up on the back wall. Could not get the ball out of play. Now a 17-10. Looking like we'll approach halftime here with a seven goal lead for Nass. Which technically means he is not on pace to end this match early. Rai might be able to stick it out for the full 20 minutes. Nass, little boost steal. Now Rai all the way from the back wall. A catch, a dribble, a 50, and a goal. Inch by inch, if Nass is not careful. Nass winning a kickout possession. Right, able to make the first save. 23 boost to work with. Nass flips it past him to the opposite post. And extends it back to seven. Nass, can he get this demo here? Not even close. Rai able to back off it. Gets himself a possession, though, and plays it quickly into the top left. Oh, what a save! What an unfortunate follow-up. Rai actually makes it back and gets the save, but it just happens to bounce out directly into Nass, which is a tough break. Nineteen goals for Nass. Soft first touch, the follow-up directly into Rai. As he does some camera checks into an air dribble. He's going to try and bump. Nass goes underneath and then uses his second jump in order to make the save. Rai couldn't put it on target. Is there a way that Nass makes a save? In fact, there is. Not only that, he feels so comfortable that he waits there on the goal line. Now pops this over the top. Can he pre-flip underneath it? Oh, he got right on goal. <laughs> Nass see, was trying to be saucy, it looked like, with this goal. And, oh wow, I mean, it might have been the only way he could get around it. But he put it off the crossbar and out, and we're high on the recovery, just tapped it in. So a nine goal lead for Ness. Still six away from the mercy rule, as he air dribbles this one. Soft Pogo deciding not to steal Rise back corner boost. He will back off, and Dives on an early challenge. Rai actually gets perfect placement. Crossbar post and in. Doesn't get better than that. Pass. Diving in. Very telegraphed, but still able to get a decent enough 50. Gets the demo and puts the ball as close as possible to Rai. Doesn't matter, though. Play it quickly. No recovery possible. has been winning a lot of these races to the midfield. Can he convert on them? Looking for another air dribble bump. This time it connects. Is there any benefit to mercying your opponent? It's over if they do. So they get to guarantee their win. In theory, it is still possible to win up until the final moment. I do think that an early 14-goal lead, like in the first half, you know, could come back or you know you could have someone come back from that i think as you get later into the match the the mercy rule will probably show up in the form of a forfeit you know because if someone's down 14 with a minute left to go i'm thinking they're just going to forfeit 
Is Mercy an instant loss? It's an instant loss. Mass. On the wall to air dribble. Has the reset. Got some power behind the ball, but was shooting on the near post. Big miss from Rai. And uh, Nass, well, I think extended to 10 for the first time. He has not been able to get a 10 goal lead. Rai has always been able to slow him down. Could he go up 15 and end this round early? Nass, gonna make it 11. It was 14 4. Oh, okay. Well, now I think 11 is the biggest lead. Might have had a 10 goal lead at one point earlier. Another kickoff win for Nass. He's going to power slide cut and go directly at the net as opposed to resetting it midfield boost. But Rai was prepared for that. Recovery, though, from Nass is quicker. And Rai able to collect 100 in the back corner. Nass is not going to have the boost to go the distance of the field, so he will have to catch it. Go low and saves just enough to make the outplay. So really great boost awareness from Nass on this dribble. Instead of trying to extend it and make a play through the air, making sure he saved enough left over to actually make an outplay. Your boost is invisible almost. Yeah, see, Nass is talking about it. That black painted grass is just about impossible to see. Rai will pre-jump this air dribble as Ness is inching ever closer to ending this round early. Rai, the air dribble bump, Ness sees the ball is way high and just waits on the ground. 13, yeah, it's black grass and it is definitely as close to invisible as you get. Appeared like a month ago in the shop. Don't ask me why I bought that. <laughs> wait, why, why did you? Wait, I, I want to ask him. Why did he buy it? At the time, the grass boost meta did not exist. And yet, Rai, he saw the future. Nass. Two goals away from ending the round on his former teammate. But the air dribble bump is saved. And he's able to pick up the back corner boost and take to the skies. Gets the reset directly into Nass, who's able to save it off the backboard. Should be able to get the angle on this shot. Did he miss wide? No, he had it. So one goal. One goal now. The difference. Can Rai prevent it? <laughs> or will he be exiting before the final minutes? Nass says, give it to me. Rai says he's not going to let him have it. Nass, a kickoff win to potentially end the game. A flick over the top of Rai. He drops the no, but he does secure it. And the mercy rule is obtained. GG's no mercy indeed. No, he is mercy. <laughs> he was able to have mercy on you by ending the round early. 28-13. Rai will be eliminated as your number one seed chat advances into the next round.